Hey, we want to um, talk to you a little bit today about uh, how to navigate micro credentials. Um, so when you come to the EdHub Hub, which you can find in your Eminence bookmarks bar, um, you'll notice that microcreds is over here. It is our website devoted to all things micro credential related. So if you, uh, we've had a lot of people asking lately just about. Um, how to schedule one or when to get one. And if you have not scheduled getting a micro credential yet, we have four micro credential Mondays left. This is our list. Um, the last four that are here are repeats of our most popular ones April 17th, April 24th, May 1st, and May 8th. They're still available. They happen right after school and they're on Mondays, obviously. So instead of um, asking us to please personally stay after school on a different day, uh, we ask that you make time to come on one of those days and do it with other people who need to do it. Um, you can do it by your interest or come hit all of them. They're going to be there. Um, they're our favorite micro credentials and uh, you won't be sorry. You'll walk away with some fun stuff. Uh, so if you need to do that, and if you aren't interested in one of those, or if you don't have time on those, down here are some with information that for how to get started on these at home. So these are some of the easiest ones to do mostly digitally, or how to get at least started at home. Um, and you, uh, we ask that you focus on something like that, rather than, um, have we having a bunch of kids try to schedule with us at the last minute here in the last few weeks of school we simply don't have the time at that point to do that so please don't come and try to schedule a hour-long session individually at this point in the year um for those of you who have already been working toward micro credentials and submitting evidence we just want to remind our whole community about the micro credential um, submission form and the dashboard so when you have completed a micro credential this is the form that you use um, to turn that in in an official way so that miss gilbert and i can give you your digital badge and you add evidence of your file there hey our faces are finally catching up to us maybe <laughs> It's your librarian. <laughs> We've been talking this whole time. Um, so this is the form that you use to fill that out. And when you do that form, it feeds a sheet to us. And we kind of use that data to create the data that you see in your own dashboard here. So when you are logged into Chrome with your school Google account, um, this will open your own personalized micro-credential report. And so this is what you can show at your Connect meeting. Oh! Just dropping computers. This is what you can show at your Connect meeting as evidence of um, following all the way through with the micro-credential process. And so as it loads, your name will be here and it will show um, if you're approved for the micro-credential you submitted for, and then you're able to also download your badges um, if you would like to link those and put them in your presentations. If you see there under approval status, um, pending or not approved, we don't mark that pending or not approved without emailing you. And so you'll have an email from me or Ms. Waddell explaining um, why that is. And it's almost always just because when you did this form over here, you did not um, give us down here the, it says, you know, like, include documentation of your completed micro-credential. It may be a screenshot, a picture, or another file that documents what you did. If we can't tell what you did for your project or um, um, every once in a while, it just looks like a picture pulled off the internet. And if we can't tell that you did something, then we will ask for more, more verification. Um, and that's all. We just need a little more information from you. All right. We're really proud of all the work you guys are doing so far this year with micro-credentials, and we look forward to helping you finish out these exemplars.